Hey there, my name is Marianne from Interactive Asia. In the next minutes I will explain you how to start and use Opti2EO together with a Hokuyo sensor. The procedure is the same for other sensors. So if you have any other supported sensor, you can use this tutorial too. First, I will open the Opti2EO folder. In this folder you will find three other folders. If you open the doc folder, you will find a file called changes.html. This file shows you our latest release notes, bug fixes and new features. The readme.html file shows you the system requirements and supported sensors. Let's start and double-click the Opti2EO calibration file. Once the application is started you will see the main user interface of Opti2EO. The user interface presents itself with the main menu, a preview window and the configuration tabs. Click, Help, then, Install License, and navigate to the license file which you have received from us. Make sure that your sensor is connected correctly to your network. If you can ping the sensor's IP address from your machine which is running Opti2EO, then you're ready to start with the calibration process. Now click the Devices tab and click the Add button to choose your sensor. In this case we are using the Hokuyo UST-10LX sensor. On the top of this tab you will find the Start button to start the sensor. Click the Start button now and then you can see the scanned area in the preview window at the top. If you cannot see a preview or your sensor did not start, then check your network configuration again. Now we have to define our screen. Click the Screens tab now. Here we set up the exact dimensions of our screens in millimeters. We also can offset the screen on the X and Y axis. Now we go back to the Devices tab. Here we have to assign our screen to the sensor. Depending on where your sensor is placed, you can flip the position of the sensor on the X and Y axis. There is also a setting to adjust the roll or rotation of your sensor relative to the real screen. Once you are satisfied with your calibration you can go into the Outputs tab to assign your desired output. We are simply using the mouse output to control the mouse. Now you can already control your mouse pointer with Opti2EO. With these simple steps you are ready to go and transform any flat surface into a multi-touch screen. If you need more information, feel free to contact us through info at interactive-asia.com or check out our website for more details. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.